Look what I have today. It's the brand new Super Yoder from Bearing Optics. The new Super Yoder is a 640 by 40 12 micron thermal rifle scope. It may look the same as a Super Hawkster. It has the same body, same layout, same features, but it does have a big upgrade. It's a 640 by 480 12 micron thermal rifle scope. The new Super Yoder comes with a quick detachable mount from uh, Roo Tactical. This is one of the best quick detachable mounts that you can buy. The form factor of this new Yoder is, is just the same as the uh, Super Hogster or the other Hogster in the Bearing Optics family. It has a very uh, familiar three button layout up here for your menu, power button, menu button, and record button. And you can use these uh, same buttons to uh, work the menu. It comes with a 50 millimeter lens, a nice lens cover. It also comes with a, uh, a rubber eye cup, but I usually don't use those because we you know, usually have nice uh, weather to hunt. In Georgia, but you know, if it's snowing out there in the wintertime, you may need that rubber eye cup to protect the eyepiece. It also, kind of shades it, uh, the reflection from your eyes. But this is a, a great little scope, and that's a key word little. I mean, this thing you're getting a 640 by 40 resolution in this little bitty one pound package. I mean, this thing is, is really, really great. Uh, we've taken it out on several occasions uh, hunting, we've got some videos to show you. So you get an idea of, of what the image looks like, but I'll tell you now that the uh, the videos are not quite as good as the image. It runs on two CR123 batteries. Let's see, it just pops out just like the uh, the other Hogster models. One thing I've got to tell you about it, it likes these batteries. <laughs> Super Yoda will go through uh, batteries uh, pretty quickly if you're running the CR123 lithium batteries. So I would suggest that when you buy this scope, also buy a power bank so you can go with it and. Uh, so that uh, runtime will be a little bit longer out there at night. Probably uh, runtime on a pair of these batteries is a couple of hours, and that's budget a little bit. That's using the uh, standby mode. One good thing about this, this scope, it does have a standby mode that will save you battery life. So you can just push these two forward buttons, put it on standby mode, and it, uh, when you see something out there, you just touch this front button and it instantly comes on. Now, if you turn it all the way off, it's going to take a few seconds for it to, to come up. But you put it on standby. As soon as you pop that power button, I mean, you've got a full image and it's ready to, ready to go. Of course, when you're out there in the field, uh, the main thing you're using the, uh, the control buttons for is recording and zoom. The power button up here lets you zoom from 1 to 12 power. For zooming, it's real easy. You just use the uh, power button. A quick click will uh, jump the zoom. Also, you can run picture in a picture and it'll double the uh, image that you're running in the main display. So if you're running uh, 3x in the main display, it'll double that and you'll be running 6 in the uh, small picture display. At the base power, you get about 40 feet of field of view at 100 yards. So that's 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 pretty good, for especially for a 3 power scope. Back button, a short click will take a photo. A long hold. For about three seconds, we'll start the video recording. And it turns on and turns off the same way. It's got all the features you want, except maybe one, and that's audio recording. If you use the Bearing Optics app, you can get your video and audio recording. Of course, it's focusable for your eye back here on the back and for distance in the front. I know a lot of you out there have seen our videos of the Hawksters, and I know a lot about them, but for people who don't know about all the features in the Bearing Optics uh, Super Hogster and Super Yoder line. They have four color palettes, black hot, white hot, 
red hot and one they call fusion. Now the fusion is uh, sort of a uh, purple and yellow. It's pretty wild, <laughs> but some people like it. You know, I, I tend to use black hot or, or white hot, and uh, it just depends on, you know, what mood you're in and, and what looks best to you. Now, these new uh, bearing optics uh, super yoders have a lot of adjustments inside. So when you get this scope and you mount it on your rifle, you need to take it out every time you go hunting. You need to check it out because you, depending on the conditions, you may need to change the internal settings on it for brightness, contrast, and also they have settings for cold weather and hot weather. So you need to go in there and read instructions. <laughs> it's not that hard. You go in there and, and learn how to set these things up. Now, after you get it all set up and it's looking good to you and you want to zero your rifle, it has uh, four profiles that you can set up. So you can set the scope up for four different rifles. If you want to take it off of, uh, say, your 223 and put it over in your 6.5 Grendel, you can have a profile for each one. And in that profile, you can set the uh, one of eight reticles. And they have a lot of good reticles in there. And also, three of those reticles are BDC reticles. So when you zoom the power, uh, they have the little hash lines on there to help you estimate distance and also uh, for the bullet drop. So that, that comes in real handy. But... Make sure you get the bullet drop compensator so you can use it on base power or any magnification setting. You don't have to use it at the highest magnification setting like you do on most American glass scopes. So you go in and you set up your profile. You can choose uh, red, green, black, or white uh, for your reticle color. You can choose uh, one of the four uh, background colors or color palettes. And you'll be ready to go. The best thing about this scope is easy to use. I mean, you've got three buttons. Uh, and when you're out there in the field, you don't get your fingers all messed up. Some of these scopes, they have like four or five buttons around the outside, a power button, a center button. And sometimes they're so small, it's, it's hard to feel when you're out there, you know, in the dark. This one is really simple. Run your finger down, you know, when you, from the front to the, to the uh, first button and you know that that's the uh, zoom button you come in from the back and touch that uh, first button press it down to record it really really is easy to use and the menu is easy after you get the hang of it I know when you get a brand new optic it's uh, <laughs> it can be a little intimidating going in and setting up the menu but you'll you'll get the idea I mean you you'll get the hang of it real quick carrying this thing around and hunting Especially if you're like Hans, you're chasing hogs all over the place, up and down power lines and across sections. Uh, it's uh, it's really nice to have a really lightweight scope. I mean, you take a a little uh, handy rifle like a little 6.5 Grendel boat gun or a lightweight 223 AR, and you can carry this thing all night. It, I mean, it doesn't weight you down. Now, one of my favorite scopes weighs <laughs> about 34 ounces, and uh, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It takes really good uh, video, and it's a really good clear scope, but it's uh, a little bit on the heavy side. This one won't weight you down. This is about the lightest uh, piece of gear that you can buy for, you know, a 640 thermal rifle scope. And uh, I, I know you're going to enjoy it if you get one of these. The other thing about it is the price. This is a 640 by 480 12 micron, which gives you the capability to have a little bit higher base magnification you get a three power base magnification and that's not too much for hog hunting but it's almost ideal for your coyote hunters and the other thing because it's a 12 micron and a 640 you can bump that magnification and the image still looks really good i mean you can run it all the way up to 12 power and make a shot on a coyote if you need to so i mean for coyote hunters i mean this is a ticket i mean it's it's really good and for if you're a a hog hunter, I wouldn't dis I wouldn't discount it either. It's it's good for uh, just about anything. Three power is seems to be the the spot on right now for uh, thermal hunting industry. This one gives you what you need a 640 resolution with a three power base magnification. I mean I don't know how you can beat it. I mean it's it's just really hard to beat. And the image is not. The image may not be the very best you can buy, but it only costs $4,500.
I mean, you're not going to find anything with an image like this for $4,500. And it's got the bearing optic warranty, which is about the best in the industry. It's really hard to beat. When you get down to it, I like just about everything about this scope. I like the resolution, and I especially like it at uh, a three-power base magnification. I wish it would last a little bit longer on, on batteries. The CR123s are, are just, you know, not the best... Uh, power option for this scope. I think you're going to have to go to a power bank. And I really don't mind that because I run a power bank on most all of these uh, small compact scopes because they all run 123 batteries. Uh, the other thing, I wish it did have a, you know, audio recording. It does have 16 uh, gigs of memory, so it'll hold a lot of videos. Detail is, is good. The heat separation is good. So, you know, all in all, for $4,500, this is one of the best thermal rifle scopes you can buy. I'd say this is a, a real winner. Uh, if you want one of these scopes, uh, give Jason Robinson a call out at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. His number is 877-350-1818. Or you can go online and order one of these also. And as of this video, they are in stock. So uh, don't wait too long because <laughs> they're flying off the shelves. This Super Yoda is really, really a good scope. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back and see us.